Hello everybody, this is Night Yoshi here, and today for you I got an unboxing. This one I dedicate especially to Kirby Master Ultra. So what I get? Well, I got da 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 Yep, Kirby's Dream Collection. And as you can see on the front, it comes with the game disc, soundtrack, and collectible book. And I love that 20th anniversary logo. That is awesome. Then on the side, it's uh Pretty much the same thing, same logo and everything at the top. Again, same thing, but there is something interesting on this flap I'll show you in a second. As you can see here, you get Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby's Superstar, Kirby's Dreamland 3, and Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards. Out of these six, uh, I played Dreamland. I still have that on Game Boy. Rented Dreamland 3 from Blockbuster once. And 64, we actually beat as when I was a kid. Always ran them and uh, beat it eventually. Uh, the other three I have not played yet, though. So I'm looking forward to playing those. Mainly because I can't find them at the store. And I guess I didn't find them at my childhood either. It also comes with new challenge stages and Kirby's history and kind of a interactive timeline kind of thing, which is cool. And a disc and book, obviously. So, yeah. Six titles for $40. I think it's worth the price. So anyway, so let's open this up here. Flip it around. Because I do want to show something on this flap. If you notice there, there's King DDD. I bent that a bit. My apologies. To the box, of course. Mad Knight and Wild D. I have no idea why they decided to put it on the flap, but whatever. So inside, here's the game. And I'm going to put this aside for a second. Yeah, I gotta be honest, uh, this cover is very odd to me. I mean, I, I like it, you know, Kirby 20, I like it all, but brown? Really? I don't know, I guess I just expect it to always be pink. And on the side, yeah, just boring text. And on the back you get to see the actual game covers. Like I said, I have Dreamland still. Adventure, I'm, like, once I get the chance, I'm going to buy all of them on the consoles, but for now, this will work nicely. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think my favorite was probably Kirby and the Crystal Shards. I used to play it all the time with my cousin and my sister, and after we beat it, we wanted to play through it again. It was so much fun, and Dreamland 3, I remember somewhat, because my sister used to play that on Super Nintendo. I was tempted to try it once, but by the time I was ready, it was time to put it back in the store slot. So, unfortunately, I didn't get the chance. Uh, now, Kirby's Dreamland, I actually got that as a present for my grandmother. And, uh, yeah. I'll take off the plastic in a minute, but first, let's check out that booklet. So let's get that out. This is the back. And this is the front. Yep. Looking awesome. I definitely love the artwork on the cover. That is really good. Nice and creative. I like it. And on the inside, I think this is a list of all the games, but I'm not sure. So we got Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Adventure. Uh, the light in here sucks. Kirby's Pinball Land. Only Kirby can make pinball fun, that's for sure. Kirby's Dream Course, Kirby's Avalanche, Kirby's Dream Land 2, Kirby's Block Ball, Kirby's Superstar, Kirby Star Stacker, Kirby's Dream Land 3, Kirby 64, The Crystal Shards, Kirby Tilt and Tumble. That one sucked, honestly. Kirby Nightmare and Dream Land, pretty good one. Kirby Air Ride, uh, got kind of boring fast, but it was still alright. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Not a pretty good one. Kirby's Canvas Curse. Kirby uh, Squeak Squad. Kirby Superstar Ultra. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Kirby Mass Attack. And Kirby's Epic Yarn. <sighs> that was a mouthful. And there, it's just Celebration Book. I'm actually surprised that's not the cover. But I'm glad they went with that. That is awesome. Since I just kind of... Uh, the history and whatnot... Yeah, it's a pretty nice booklet, I think. 
I don't really pay much attention to booklets typically, but the Super Mario All-Star Wii one I got, and I got this one. They're all pretty cool, but, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to go through, just flip through real quick, and some of this print gallery. Yeah, it was on some episodes of, uh, uh, Nintendo Power, or ep episodes, issues of Nintendo Power, which... Yes, I did hear the news, and when the, when the last one comes out, I'm going to cry. Honestly, I am. I don't cry. Not typically. And uh, here's the soundtrack song list. Um, I'm not going to go over that, though. I'm just not. So, that's all that's in the box, which makes me assume... That's another odd thing. It's yellow on the bottom. But of course, it's yellow right there, so I guess it makes sense. Anyways, let's get this plastic off of the game. See if I can do it without cheating. Oh, yes, I can. You know, it's kind of popping up this time. How fortunate. I, you don't have to watch me struggle with plastic. Oh, wait, it ripped off. Oh, great. Oh, well. At least you don't have to watch me struggle with the plastic this time. Not as much, at least. Alright, there we go. I'm going to remove that from the club points because I actually do use those and I don't want anyone to see those. So, Kirby's Dream Collection, the CD, awesome. And then there's the game. Very nice disc, very colorful, lots of characters. I like it. And then, uh,. Yeah, soundtrack's on the front. I like it when they do it this way, you know. If there's ever, like, a DVD or something with a two-disc, I like it when they put the, like, bonuses on the front. I don't know why, but I do, because I just, like, turn it in, and then there's the main feature right there. See, I like the way they package it, and there's advertisement for Sir Kirby's Epic Yarn, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and Mario Party 9. All pretty good games, and the manual... Well, after looking at that booklet, honestly, this is going to be disappointing, but let's give it a try. Yeah, all stuff I already know how to do. It's actually pretty nice and colorful. That's not something you get with most manuals nowadays. I, I like that. That is awesome. And oddly enough, you can play them all with uh, the Wii Remote. Like... Kirby's Dream Land 3, but that was on Super Nintendo, so I, I'm shocked by that, honestly. I thought it would be classic controller only. And uh, I actually have Crystal Shards on, on Virtual Console. Yet here I can use it with just the remote. That's uncool. So, new challenge stages. Um, I'm not sure how that works, honestly. They even have, they have instructions on how to do the interactive thing. Really? Why would, why would you need that? Okay. You know what, actually, I might not use these Club Nintendo points, honestly. If someone wants them, ask me, and I'll message them to you. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's all of it. So I'm just going to... Put this all together. And there we go. That's uh that's the set. Pretty nice. I like it. I definitely like it because I love Kirby and all so is Kirby Master Ultra, who is awesome. I like Kirby. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh I will see you next time. Goodbye.